Hello everyone. In this video I will compare AWS to Google Cloud and I will start with the free tier on Google Cloud. This contains an always free tier and $300 start credits for your first year. Under the always free products there are for example um, one F1 micro instance which is comparable to the EC2 instance from uh, AWS and uh, 30 gigabyte uh, HD per month and uh, one static external IP address for free. And this is always free, like, uh, yeah, like you can use it forever. You can use uh, the FMicro instance for example to host a website for free or to use it for purpose for example. In AWS you have also a free tier, but this is only 12 months. You get these EC2 instances only uh, the first 12 months free. So after 12 months you have to pay for it. And this is like, comparable to the always free tier from GCP. Like you get uh, one instance per month and 40 gigabytes uh, space. But you don't get uh, external IP for free. So these are two things that uh, definitely speak for GCP. There are a few downsides, but GCP is still uh, better than uh, AWS. And this is the outgoing traffic, because if you, for example, want to version game projects, uh, you have a lot of outgoing traffic, and this traffic does cost something. And in AWS, it costs 15 cents per gigabyte, which is uh, like three dollars per 20 gigabytes And I think this is a lot with GCP. There are two network tiers the premium tier costs for example from NA to NA -U -U -U, About 10 cents per gigabyte uh, It does depend on the source and destination geolocation but there is also a standard tier and this is a bit cheaper, it does only cost like eight and a half cents per gigabyte. And it does only depend on the source, like where your traffic comes from. And when you have a server in America, for example, you pay this tier. And the difference is that the premium tier is a little bit faster, especially when you have great distances between the source and the destination. But they say that the standard tier is comparable to the network speed of other cloud providers. At last, uh, you may take also a look at uh, Microsoft Azure or at um, AWS LightSail, where you have like flat rate plans for outgoing traffic. But uh, I would suggest um, to use GCP because it currently has the best pricing. So I hope this supports uh, you with your decision which uh, cloud provider you use. Don't forget that you get uh, $300 free credit for the first year. So the first year in GCP you pay nothing and you can just test it or at least uh, just use it for the first year and because you literally don't have to pay anything. I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.